Welcome to the forests and fields of the Chateau de Saint-Germain-des-Prés where we are out foraging for Christmas decorations and just getting ready for the holiday season. We've decided to come over today on yet another rainy day to this spectacular town called Bordet. Um, we're here for a Christmas market, which should be lots of fun, and we're going to meet up with some friends for a coffee. But wanted to show you just how crazy the water has been here. This river, which has clearly overflowed its banks, is just running so fast. had so much rain here that uh, you know all of the aquifers and the rivers are just overflowing right now hopefully it uh, slows down sometime soon and the Christmas market looks like it's inside in their salle de fête but a couple of hardy tents out here yeah. so let's go see what we can find Sadly, this is, this is turning into be a bit of a washout. Yeah. We feel horrible for all the artists who spent all year long getting stuff, but we did buy something. From one of our local Saint Germain artists. Yeah, the she's awesome. lady that we love every time we like her stuff, so it's time to buy something. Exactly. But there we go. At least we got out. Yeah. Right? All right, let's go. All right, well, we have come to our favorite MIUs, but our favorite MIUs has got a new location. It's moved and, and look it's at the size. bigger. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So we're in Breve yeah. today, and yeah, the this is a brand new facility that just opened us a couple of weeks ago, I think. Yep. Um, and it's absolutely enormous. So hopefully, the same amazing selection that we're used to. But let's go exploring. They're having an exceptional sale today, where it's right. uh, Christmas stuff and every it's open more hours than usual. So I expect it's going to be busy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there might be something. I found a little temptation. So at the last brocon, we had a crumb sweeper, but without its brush. And I've just found the sweeper with its brush. And it's eight euros. Well, that and might be a good one. I might have to come home with us, honey. It's, it'd be ideal. I mean, for all the little crumbs on the table. We do have crumbs. It is France afterwards. After all, there's lots of, lots of flaky pastries. Right? I like it. Okay. So we've spotted this lovely little set, the chocolatier or mulled wine or something like that. And it's, it's only eight, eight euros. euros. So yeah, that's coming home with us, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we, we've got a bag full of stuff already. We're, we're doing all right. Yeah. But we've come across a dilemma. There is a, a whole set of... Plates and dishes. Yeah. And when we say a whole set, we mean literally every single piece there yeah. is every size of plate every size of bowl all the soup serving all the platters, platters uh, the gravy boat to the cornichon the pickle and radish dish like yeah. literally every everything piece. and it's probably 12 to 14 settings yeah and the whole thing is 60 euros Very we don't love one. it we don't hate it it's kind of yeah. eh, it's In not between. it's not a mark it's not like a limoges it's not anything but, but it would make a lovely tent table setting for but it's also in the summertime or a little bit sweet and a little bit chateau and yeah. a little bit just having the whole matching set is just so tempting yeah it is so we're gonna go and think we're gonna have to think about it oh no oh no they found me honey they found me i saw it before <laughs> i got the camera out <laughs> there are more sewing machines hello friends actually that one looks very very much like the same era as your the one that you work on all the time isn't it? that one's earlier than mine earlier than yours yes okay but we have eight already. Seven. Seven. Sorry. I lost track. <laughs> we can't even get this one open to see what kind of state it's in. Okay. Sewing machines. Always about the sewing machines. I can't help it. They all want to come home with me. I can't help it, honey. <laughs> All 
All right, so we have had a think. Yep. We've come back. But, but I don't uh, think it's coming home with us No, today. I don't think yeah. so. Did a much. It is time to harvest some Christmas greenery, which means I need a basket, which means that I need to take the lavender that I harvested a couple of months ago out of the basket in some way that it doesn't make um, a full and complete mess. And I leave Dealey in some way that I can use it to make little gifties or little sachets or something like that. So wish me luck. I know there are things you can do with the stems of the lavender and create clever little wand things or do little arrangements or make a wreath, which would be a really clever idea. Um, and now I'm regretting my next decision to maybe chop them all off and save the actual lavender flowers. I don't know. Now I'm in analysis paralysis. Well, it looks like we're finally getting through all of this dried lavender. I can tell you one thing, it smells amazing in here. Right? That basket is going to smell delicious forever. It really is. I don't think wearing a, a wool sweater was my best choice. How am I doing? Am I You're doing okay? okay? Yeah, okay. nothing. It'll so be a sting in the woods. Outside, so, you know, when we're outside, it'll be a good choice. When yeah. we're inside cutting lavender, bad choice. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there we go. All the lavender that was harvested. It's amazing how well it, it's kept its scent, actually. Yeah. And now we can make potpourri bags or... Who knows what, but we can make all the rooms smell like lavender, and I'm good with that, because <laughs> I think it's a lovely smell, don't you? It really is. It's so French. <laughs> French and fresh and yummy. Yeah. Right. That's full. That's ready for the fire. That's half full. Hardly any scraps left. I think we can clear off the table and do some greens. <laughs> I think it's time. It's okay. So I move that bread for you? Oh, yes. Well, That's you know, fun. I might need snacks for later. Uh, we almost forgot a very important part of this expedition. Yeah, and we almost got told off for it too. We are off to collect greens for the decos. Yes, it's Christmas like nuts in May, only greens in December. <laughs> Something like that. And sadly, it's still a gray day. We've had so much rain here in the last month or so. But it stopped for the minute, so we really <sighs> should... Uh, yeah. We're getting out whilst the, whilst the weather's good because there's more rain in the forecast. Yeah. Thank goodness the house hasn't floated away yet. <laughs> so we know from past years that up in the woods here, there is a little patch of holly. So let's go see if we can find some. It's a little treacherous with all these wet leaves, but I think I've got the right shoes on. Stephanie, these are the kind of shoes that you need when you're going into the wet woods. Just saying. <laughs> all right, so I think just up here was the holly bush. The holly bush, it's even got red berries on it this year, which it didn't do last year. And it seems to be growing even better. So let's harvest a bit of this and get it in for deco. So some of these trees have some really pretty ivy growing on them as well. So I think I shall collect some of that as well. So we'll have some holly and some ivy. Seems to remind me of a song I once heard. I think it was Rock Around the Christmas Tree. Our local animals are clearly enjoying the thoroughfare that Steve has built for them. Holy cow, you never see the trails just right through here. It's raining again. Um, but there's blue sky ahead. I'm excited. Can you see it? Can you see that strip of blue? It's there, I promise you. Oh, there you go. You can see a little bit of it. I'm hoping when this rain clears, we can uh, get some harvesting done. Well, now it's more than just a little bit rainy and I'm out here without an umbrella or a raincoat. So back to the house to regroup. <laughs> Two of us have been caught, in out, caught out in it. Oh well, short lived, but we got some greenery, right?
it's mistletoe time. So since we all know that mistletoe is a parasite and it will kill its host tree and that it's toxic for dogs, we, we know all of this. So Steve's got his long pole and it's gonna try to snip some of that bad boy out of that tree. Not that that tree looks like it's doing so well, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a sad thing because this is the last couple of years I've been harvesting off of trees um, that are off the property, but um, this is one of our trees. Yeah. And it's got a lot of mistletoe on it, so. So let's get that parasite off of there. That's one. It's one directly above your head, which probably means that I should be leaning in for a bit of a smooch, but um, yeah. That's two. It's uh, it's a good thing we have a, another house between us and the barn because, whoa, it just turned tropical out there. <laughs> well, tropical without country. Yes, exactly. So we've managed to grab some of our greens and we're held up waiting for this rain to finish. It is lightening up though. I think we'll be able to make a run to the house soon. Okay, this is ridiculous. So we were out in the rain getting absolutely soaked. You can still see my hair is still wet. My sweater's still wet. And yet there's blue sky starting to appear. like a lot of greens but we need to do two 70 centimeter swags for either side of the fireplace and then fill these two vases with something festive what do you think will it be enough i think it's coming together so i'm trying to keep within my 70 centimeter range. I've got a little bit either side, which is good, but uh, that's what we're looking right right now. So I've got my usual laurel leaves underneath, followed by cedar and then some, I think, spruce and then some holly with the berries on. How nice is that? And I think I'll put a ribbon on that and see how it looks. Okay, they look to be about the same size, which is good. That was part of the overall plan. And now for you two. Hmm, what do we do with you? Pretty sure these are just a hot mess at this point, but um, I think my eye has gone wonky, so. I'm just going to take them and put them in front of the fire and see what that tells me.
fireplace is looking, well, as tight as it can be. It's an old fireplace, um, obviously wrought or cast iron. So, uh, you know, it's, it's as clean as it's gonna look. But I think the woodwork has all come up really lovely. You know, this absolutely beautiful frieze that we have on the fireplace, which we love so much. And now we can get ready to decorate. Look at all the nice little touches you've put in. I think some bits, just some bits. <laughs> So I think my hot mess of granary almost works in that context. I need to, um, I didn't really have time to study up on how to arrange green. So I kind of like the one on the right, but the one on the left's not really working for me. I'll fit around with it a little bit. But you get all holiday season to do it. Right? <laughs> That's right. Lots of time. Now I need to put the swags up. There you go. Oh, I need ribbon first. Oh, we've got ribbon. Boy, we've got ribbon. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to hang up the swags. And the tricky part is that the hooks are in two different places, so that's step number one. And I've done a really good job of tying these together. Yeah, these hooks were already there, so we're just utilizing them under the what we're calling the plinths beside the fireplace here. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that lovely? I'm not sure who that is in his red pants, but he seems to be hanging the stockings by the fire with care. With care, indeed. Yeah. Wow, I think it's looking very festive. What about you? It is very festive. Who wouldn't want to curl up by that fireside, right? Exactly. Let's get the cleaning product <laughs> Hello, bonjour everybody. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Julie and I'm a silversmith from England. And I'm going to be holding a retreat at the wonderful Chateau saint germain de pré which is a private chateau in the heart of the French countryside. It's um, a, a week's retreat and I'm going to be teaching five days of silversmithing. And during the week, all the silver materials and everything um, are included in the price. And at the end of each day, you will take away that wonderful piece that you've made. And um, during the week, we're also going to be lucky enough to have Cordon Bleu chefs that will come in from Paris and they're going to cook our meals for us, wonderful gourmet meals. And we've got some fabulous wines from the region to sample with our meals too. So, if you're interested, I just can't wait to invite you along. Uh, if you're not interested, but you know somebody that loves chateaus and creating things and countryside and fine wine and foods, then um, pass this along for them to see and we'll put all the details up for anybody that would like to book. At the moment, we've got an early bird discount if you'd like to take advantage of that. Um, it's something perhaps that you, you can do alone, but it, it, it would be nice to, to bring along a friend or if you've got a special birthday or Christmas that you want to treat somebody to, um, then this could be the perfect gift. So I hope I can see some of you in May next year. Um, and bye for now. Bianto. And remember, the best gift you can give your favorite creators any time of year is to hit that like button, subscribe, or leave a comment. It doesn't cost a thing, and it really does help our channel grow. Thanks very much.